lot of times I've thought about doing videos and things like that to be able to post on straight from the pen on my YouTube channel that you'll be watching if you hear this here and uh, I always come up with excuses I you know want to wait till I uh, get my own house and you know be able to set up a YouTube studio and you know do all those things that I know will help make this this channel a lot more successful but the reality is uh, I can make them anywhere you know because this, this is my life it's it's uh, the life I live today and I'm grateful to be able to live it on the outside instead of on the inside and right now I'm in uh, downtown Atlanta I just come from the Richard B. Russell building. I was partook in an event that's designed to help reduce recidivism by helping to show the, the, the probation officers and other people in the U.S. Department of Justice what it's like for people to get out of prison and then have to go th through all the drama that we go through in our lives as returning citizens. But it ain't always easy. You know, things don't work according to the way that we plan. You know, we run into a lot of BS all the time, uh, especially first coming out and having a, a certain disposition. You know, the way that we had to learn to act and behave on the inside to be able to be safe. And then when we get out, if we keep those same behaviors, it sends us right back where we learned them. You know, so 23 years before I walked out the door on a 30-year sentence, I had changed my life and started working on becoming a better man. And I've done that. Today, I do well. I have food shelter. I don't hurt for anything you know, that I really need. A lot of things I want, you know, like I said, a new house and you know, a different place to live and other things that I want, but as far as need, I've got the things that I need. You know, and I'm grateful for that. And uh, you know, I've been able to accomplish a lot of things in my life that I would never thought was possible and one was like for instance being on a national television program uh, today I was on WATC TV on a steadfast journey where I shared about the the topic of love thy neighbor and it's just you know it just shows the the power of change and that in AA and NA they have a, a cliche uh, no matter how far down the scale we have gone, we'll see how our experience can benefit others. And actually, that's, that's in the AA Big Book. But that's what I do today. I share, you know, I share my experience, strength, and hope, and you know, to show others that you that you can change if, if that's what you want to do. You know, it, it just takes it takes a lot of tolerance sometimes, and uh, to be persistent. You know, n never give up. If you run into a roadblock, just take the 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 next route and try to do it in a way where you don't uh, harm or hurt other people you know to love thy neighbor and I can't discriminate on those I, I, that I love I have to love everyone regardless uh, the social status don't matter I have to love a beggar as much as I do a king you know but that's the life I live today and it helps to give me serenity it helps me to have a better quality of life it has it has allowed me to meet a lot of a lot of really good people you know who years and years ago I might not have blended in so well with them but today I put all that stuff to the side and just keep doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing according to God's will of my life and sometimes I don't know what that is so I just do the next right thing and know it's going to work out the way it's supposed to this YouTube channel the views and you know, trying to get people to commit to follow and stuff. It ain't been working the way I thought. But again, it works according to God's will for my life. And it is what it is. I just keep doing the next right thing. And when it's meant to take off, then it will. But I'm thanks for letting me share.